Hey everybody, it's Derek from CodeOpinion.com and I'm going to take a look at how you can build an add-in for Cake. If you have no idea what Cake is, I suggest taking a look at my other video that kind of is an intro getting started to Cake, which is a build tool for uh, .NET using C Sharp. So once you're familiar with Cake and you want to create an add-in, here's how we do it. All right, so I'm in Visual Studio and I have a class library. It's just empty. I just created this solution. Um, if you're creating a class library, class library using Net Standard, that's totally fine. I'll have a separate video that I'll link to related to Core CLR. So all we need to do really to get started is to install the cake.core package. Um, and I'll do that here. And once we get that up, uh, we can create basically a a static class with an extension method uh, for the IK context. That's really as simple as it is, is really creating one method and then adding an attribute. So I'll show you how to do that here. All right, so let's get this out of the way. So like I said, we're gonna make this a static class. So for this example, I'm gonna create something pretty Pretty simple, actually. It's just going to be a, a need for what I had, which was I wanted to replace a um, a setting, an app setting, in my app config or web config. So that's what uh, I'm going to create here. So I'm going to call this uh, replace app setting. Like I said, it's an extension method, so I'm going to be extending the IK context. And let's say let's give it a file name so we're going to replace an app config the key and we're going to be replacing some value in it all right uh, let's call this context so i'm going to actually throw a little snippet that i have already created so you don't have to hear me type this whole thing All right, so here's a little snippet of code that I added. So really the, the crux of the thing that you really want to get across here is that you're basically creating an extension method on a I, uh, cake context. From there, you can use the context, obviously. Um, the meat and potatoes of the extension I'm creating here, or this add-in, is um, just to replace some key uh, in the, the app settings of an app config or web config. So that's what I got some XML code here is. And then I'm just doing, um, I'm using the context to write out to the log so you can see that I'm actually calling it. So the only thing left that you really have to do to, to make uh, an add-in is specify on your extension method a cake, uh, cake method alias. That's it. That's the, the two pieces, the simplest thing that you need to create an add-in is create an extension method and on that ex extension method specify the cake method alias. That's We've now created a cake add-in. That's it. We're done. Alright, so I've jumped over to Visual Studio Code and we can see now that I have a cake build script up here. Um, and I'm going to show you now how we can reference that DLL and then actually call our extension method. So here's my build script, just has hello world being printed out here. And what we can do is I've copied and pasted the DLL, that assembly that we've built and that I've created. Uh, it's in the same directory here. So what you can do is in your file, you can reference just by using uh, pound r and do cake dot replacer DLL. So create the reference there. And then now we can actually just call our extension method. So we called that extension method replace app setting. And I have an app config here, which is right in this directory. And I'll show you in a second. I have a key called website, and let's call this code opinion.com. So I'm going to call our extension method, and I've referenced it. If you look at the app config here, you can see I have this app setting and the key of website, and it's set to cake build net. So we're going to replace that with codeopinion.com. 
So now if I run our builds, it should output our log that was inside of our code that we wrote. So there it is. And we still have our hello world information here. So now if we go back over and look, it's replaced our app setting. That's it. That's how simple it is to get started creating an add-in for Cake. Uh, I'm going to have a few more videos related to running on Core CLR, as well as debugging, writing some unit tests, a few more Cake videos coming up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe for more .NET related videos. Thanks.